few weeks back, I posted up a quick little video rolling out of the dealership with my new Sprinter. I traded in my old white one, the 144 dually short roof. It was a great Sprinter. I loved it, but I needed something a little bit bigger, something that can handle some seats and some material in the back. So we grabbed this 177 tall roof. It's not a dually, but she is a four by four. So I'm not planning on going four wheeling, but it'd be nice to get out of the snow whenever I need to. The thing is, if you've been following my channel for very long, you know I don't ever have anything stocked for very long. I was surprised the white one was stocked the whole entire time. I never really did any mods to it or anything like that. Maybe because I knew I wanted the bigger, better one. This thing will for sure eventually have a little bit of beat in it. Now keep in mind, when I posted about this, I had all kinds of people talking about turning it into a base machine. And uh, that does sound like fun, but it's not gonna be a base machine. It will have a nice system in it though, guaranteed. I mean, we're talking about 412s or 415s or something. It's gonna have some beat. It's just not gonna be a demo vehicle, but we will make it good. In the meantime, check out some of the first mods that I've already done. I've only had this thing two weeks and we're already doing stuff. So obviously when I first got it, it had zero windows except for the fronts. Today, we've got windows. Just had my side windows put in. We got the back windows done. And we got some side windows over here as well. Got the little side slider. So whoever's inside can open it up and get some fresh air. Yeah. Really nice. One thing about driving one of these without windows is it's pretty scary. I mean, I'm used to it. My Astro had no windows in it. The other Sprinter had no windows in it. It's no big deal to me, but there's a couple of close calls with them blind spots. Even on the driver's side, the blind spots are nasty. So having a couple extra windows to see out of will be real nice. And this van is so big that I'm already wanting to do one more section of windows right there. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way to the back because it's not a shuttle bus. But one more section of windows will probably be good. So the second mod that I just got done is this, yeah. Couple rows of seats. Of course the sink came completely empty like a huge cavern. Only room for two people. Now it seats eight. My plan was to do matching buckets like the front right behind on the second row and then do a bench on the third row but the buckets are out a month or so he said so i'm like let me see what you got for a bench seat and he showed me these they had them in stock I'm like man those are pretty nice seats i mean these things are real nice all of them tilt all three of them all six i should say but three in a row they tilt back and forth and they're removable off these tracks. So I could take them out if I need to put something real long in here that reaches the seats. I'm pretty stoked about that. And of course, as you can see from this view, they match perfectly because they are Mercedes seats. No aftermarket. Not that I got a problem with the aftermarket. They just aren't. And they're nice. I like them a lot. I'm pretty happy with this. Which leads me to the third and fourth set of mods, which I haven't done yet, but I'm getting ready to right now. I got these while this van was in the shop getting the windows put in, so I didn't have a chance to do it yet. But what we have here, we got an ECU upgrade. We got the Rentec. It's basically a tune. This is not gonna become a race car or a race sprinter, but I guess it changes the tuning curve a little bit and makes it, makes it climb hills better, makes it get up on the freeway a little bit better. Cuts your zero to 60 time down. I read a few of the reviews and uh, you know, none of them say that this thing is gonna do burnouts, but everybody seems to be pretty happy with it. And I climb a lot of hills, and a little bit of mountains with this van. So if I can get a little bit of something, that's always a good thing. But I'll definitely plug this in and let you guys know if this thing is worth it. I'll let you know if I could feel the difference. And maybe if I can get with my buddy Bobby Gately who has a van just like this, we'll do a little drag race. One tuned and one not, and we'll see.
So as you can see, this thing has a really nice 360 camera. When you got a vehicle this big, being able to see at all angles all around you is a real nice feature to have. The problem is once you get going about 10 miles an hour or so, the camera is shut off and it just plays radio or does whatever it does. Why wouldn't they put the rear view camera on the screen or at least something in the mirror like my other Sprinter had? But even then, once a vehicle gets moving, it shuts off. We're about to solve that with mod number four. All right, this thing right here, this thing is supposed to bypass whatever is stopping the camera and make it show camera at all times. So once I get driving, the cameras are not gonna shut off. I have not installed it yet, so if I took off right now, we lose our cameras, but we got mods three and four sitting right there, ready to go. So you guys might be asking me, why would you do all that to a Sprinter when you could just do it to one of your nicer cars? And I do have a couple of cars that are quote unquote nicer. They're a little bit older, like my Escalade. I guess I could have ran out and bought a brand new Escalade and got rid of mine, but why do that? I spent all my time in this thing, which is the reason I don't even get to drive the Escalade very often. Same thing for the ISF. I don't have a lot of time to drive all these vehicles because I'm always in my Sprinter. I just love this thing so much. I love my other one so much. It's a great work vehicle. So if I'm gonna spend all my time in it, I might as well make it the way that I want it. So my next question would be, do you guys wanna see the mods that I do to this van over time? I know how you guys can be. If it's not something catching on fire, or if it's not sparks flying, or if it's not woofer smoking. So I just got the van back and I have to get back in the shop and get some work done. I don't have no time to do those other two mods, but that leads me to my question. Do you guys wanna see these mods? Do you wanna see what I do to this van? It's for sure gonna get a little bit of beat in here, for sure, which, you know, I'll post that. But do you wanna see all the mods? Let me know down there in the comments. We'll go ahead and we'll do like an extensive, well, not an extensive, cause I'm not like that, but a fun little review. See if this ECU tune is helping or not. And I'll show you guys how the rear view camera thing works. Should be really easy. So far, I'm glad to have her back. Yeah. Of course. This is what the cavern looks like now. My favorite part, three rows of seats, including the front, and still probably nine feet of room in the back. So I could put a full four by eight sheet of whatever, it don't matter, in the back. Have my cake and eat it too, for now. Other mods that I wanna do, like I said, the next two rows of windows, not all the way to the back, but just two more sets. And of course, we're gonna do some second skin. I'm gonna shoot this whole thing with second skin. It's already fairly quiet from the factory, unlike my white one, which was a rattle can. This one's got a little bit of factory deadening on the walls, so it's not too bad, but you can never have too much. It's got a couple little rattles in it, and that second skin will take care of it real quick. So let me know in the comments if you're with me for this journey or not. I'll bring you with me. Now, I definitely don't want to end this video without giving up a little bit of love to my guy, Ryan, over there at Banco, Northern California. I came in, I talked about what I wanted, they knew exactly what I needed, and he got done in a real timely fashion, even quicker than he wanted to because I needed it at a certain time. I didn't get no discounts for this. I paid full price for everything that you see in this video. I didn't get no deals. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I do with YouTube and all the social media stuff. I just bought it. And when I give up love after I buy something, that's just what it is. Just telling it how it is. So far, so good. I love the way it came out, and I'm definitely going back for some more stuff. Vanco, Northern California. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you. And for now, I'm out.